The following video is going to show you how to um, add sounds into Flash CS6 um, using ActionScript 3.0 and how to control them a little bit. You can see the following video. I have a play button and a stop button. If I click my play button, the parts my the sound part. plays. When I press the stop button, it stops. Very simple. Play button, stop button. So I'm going to show you how I would create this. All right, notice from my video, uh, my Flash movie, you can see I only have one keyframe. Well, really two of you, one column, I should say. Um, I have a play button and a stop button. If I look at the instance name of my play button, it's called sound play. The instance name of my stop button is called sound stop. So all I do within Flash now is add actions. The first thing I need to make sure is that I actually have a sound file to play. Um, so you need to create an MP3 and put it somewhere. You can see I have a folder on my desktop where I have this sound called um, 1.mp3 and this is just so I can actually play my movie um, and I have my sound, my movie actually saved here as well so they're in the same directory but you need to have mp3 files if you need to know how to create them check out my tutorial on using audacity and creating an mp3 otherwise just make sure you have your sound files somewhere where you know where they are alright let's go back into flash and let me show you my actions because here's what I did basically I have I added my buttons and then I have an actions column let's look at my actions and I'll show you what I did first thing I have is my stop action which stops my movie just so it's not looping around then I need to actually tell flash I need to say hey I'm linking to an outside file and that file is a sound so here's the code I use to do that I request variable my request one. This is a variable name. So if I was adding another sound, I'd say variable my request two, variable my request three, and so on. Obviously, that's just made up, but for me, it's easy to use my request one, two, three. I request a URL. The URL is 1.mp3 because they're in the same directory. If it was in a different directory, I would just type in that, like sounds. If it was in a sounds folder, I would use sounds, you know, forward slash 1.mp3, but it's not. My sound file is named 1.mp3 in uh, quotations here, or, well, yeah, quotations. Then I tell Flash, hey, that variable um, is actually a sound. So I create this variable called my sound one I say it's a sound, it's a new sound, and I say my sound one load that URL I'm requesting. So I'm telling Flash to load a sound. Then... What I actually do, if I if I wasn't using a button, I wouldn't have to put it the way I'm I wouldn't have to put it in a button. I could just play it on the keyframe, but I'm playing it on a button. So I create a play button. Function, handle, sound, play. We should all know how to create buttons from my other videos. So here's my function for that. And my button instance name is called sound play. The action is called my sound one dot play. What that does is it plays my sound one which I created up here so when I click that play button it's gonna play the mp3 that I requested 1.mp3 now I've also created a button that turns off the sound and it actually stops all sounds from playing in flash so let's look at the actions for that button that's just simply another button I've called it handle sound stop which you can see the variable names here and that's my sound stop button but the action that stops it. Now this could also be on a keyframe is sound mixer dot stop all and what that does is it stops all sounds. So I've called my sound, I told Flash that this URL I've requested is a sound, I play my sound and then I stop all my sounds and that's it. And let me just show you the movie again and you can see exactly what it does and that's it. That's how you add flat sound and use an action script. The parts. Play the part. and stop. And that's it. Thank you.